We'll start with Zern. Lesson three, uh, notice that some of you were struggling with this lesson and I had quite a few uh, tower alerts on lesson three from all three classes. So I'm going to go into the Tower of Power, which is where you do your independent practice. So this is layered volume. If you watch the video that I posted previously about volume, I go over a lot of this information um, that you will see in this lesson. I think a lot of students were having issues with the format of the lesson, not necessarily the content. So one of the first problems they give you is a prism, and they want you to rebuild that same prism on the map. I know I struggled with this one the first time I did it because they will only let you build in one location on this map here. So first I'm going to look at the prism they've given me and I'm going to see exactly how many cubes are in this layer. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I have twelve cubes in each layer and you can see we have two layers. So I'm going to come to my mat. I'm going to drag my cube. And you have to start building your cube on this part of the map. It will not let you put cubes anywhere else. And so that was one of the issues I had. So I'm just going to keep dragging my cubes until I have the same number on the bottom layer as they show on their rectangular prism. And so again, it's a little picky with where you put the cubes. So if you're having troubles getting the cubes to stay, try and put them in another location. That might help. Okay, so now I have a layer of 12, just as they do. But now we also want to build a second layer to make it two layers of 12 just like the prism that they have shown on the left. So I'm just going to bring my cubes and drag them until I have two layers of 12. And as you can see, it puts the cubes back when I don't put them in the location it wants them to be in. All right, and so now I'm going to just double check that my prism matches the one on the left, and it does. So I'm going to submit that, and it was correct. So now they want you to find the volume of this prism. So if I have a layer of 12, and I have two layers of 12, that's 2 times 12. So my answer will be 24. Now, this part, you need to make sure that you pay attention to the colors of the layers. If you look at your prism, we have the top layer is blue and the bottom layer is purple. So we want to make sure that we are counting the colored layers. So I'm going to look at my blue layer since I can count all of those cubes and find the number of cubes in that layer. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I have 20 cubes in each layer. And then we also look and see that we have two layers. So two layers of 20 is going to give me 40. And remember, just because we can't see the purple cubes under the blue, we know they're there. Those blue cubes cannot float in the air. They have to have something underneath them. Now, pay attention here. They have changed the colors of our layers. So we still have the same number of cubes, um, and the volume hasn't changed whatsoever. Our volume is still going to be 40, but they have changed how we are splitting up the layers. So in the first video, I talked about how you can have horizontal and vertical layers. So the first question we answered, it was horizontal layers. Now we have some vertical layers. So we have one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight cubes in each layer. And if you look, we have orange, pink, green, blue, and purple. So we have five layers. And we know that eight times five is 40. And then again, they have changed our layers once more. So they can count them vertically, and then they also can split them into columns. That's so still a vertical layer. It's just a different format. So now I'm going to look at my pink. Since I can see all of those cubes, I'm going to count the pink cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have 10 cubes. We have pink, green, blue, and purple layers. So we have four layers, and that's going to give us 40. So again, they have a prism on the left that they want us to rebuild on the mat to the right. So again, I'm going to look and see how many cubes are in this layer here in the front. Since I can count all of those, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So I'm going to have two layers of 12. And it might help if you count the horizontal layers instead. So if you do that, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we have three layers of eight. So again, I'm going to drag my cube to this corner. And I'm going to build until I have three layers of eight. And I'm going to double check that that's correct, and it looks to be. And if you want to open this video up in a tab and then open up your Zern in another tab and work along with me, if you're having trouble with this lesson, you can do that. Some of the questions might be just a little different, um, but it, st it should still follow the same format and have the same content. So this should help you regardless. So now they want to know what is the number of cubes in each layer. We're going to say that there was eight cubes in each layer. There were three layers and that the volume was 24 because again, we counted that top layer. We noticed that there were three. And so that would give us a volume of 24 since three times eight is 24. Now they want us to find the volume of a prism with five layers and eight cubic centimeters in each layer. So I'm going to, again, pay attention to these colors. I have orange, pink, green, blue, and purple. That's going to be six layers. So automatically I know that that one's not going to be correct because I only want five layers. So now I'm going to go to the second one. We have orange, pink, green, blue, purple that's going to give me five layers. And I'm sorry, this one was only five as well. One, two, three, four, five. But if I count those cubes, I know that's way more than eight cubes. That's going to be six. And that's another six. So that's 12. So that one's not correct because we only want eight cubes in each of the five layers. So going back to my second one, we have five layers as well. Uh, we do have eight cubes in each layer. And just to be safe, though, I'm going to double check the third one. And we have one, two, three, four layers. 
So that one can't be correct either. So our second one, the middle one, is going to be the correct option. So they tell us that there are eight cubes in each layer. They tell us that there are five layers. So now we know that eight times five is 40, and that should give us the volume of the prism. And that is all for lesson three. So hopefully this one will help you. Uh, no one really had any tower alerts on lesson four, so I'm going to skip it, and I'm going to make another video, though, for lesson five, six, seven, and ten. So look for those on my YouTube channel as well if you need help with those lessons.